What up though? And welcome back to Old School Hip Hop Head Rio Reacts. I also have another YouTube channel called Rio's Reactions. And on that YouTube channel, it's 99% old school golden era hip hop. So if you're ever in the mood to watch some old school hip hop reactions, all you have to do is go to the link that I'm going to put in the description of this video. Alright man, here we go again. The saga continues. So, I don't know, I guess it's been about three weeks now. The boy Kendrick Lamar dropped the bomb on the hip hop world, yo. He appeared on Future and Metro Boomin's Like That and shook up the world, son, when he dissed J. Cole and that boy Aubrey, you know what I mean? He didn't really intentionally or directly diss J. Cole, but that nigga took some fire because he was standing next to Aubrey, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, what happened after that? So, after the Kendrick joint, um, J. Cole came out with the seven minute drill Kendrick Lamar diss, where he basically just shit it all over Kendrick Lamar's discography and called the nigga washed up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then, shortly after that, he did the most light-skinned shit I've ever seen in my life, son. This nigga went on stage and apologized for the seven-minute drill diss song, yo. It was horrible, son. And ever since then, it's been all bad for that boy J. Cole on the internet, son. He is getting killed from every direction. He's getting killed from the Dreamers, which are his J. Cola stands. He's getting killed by old school niggas like Rory Amal, um, uh, Joe Button, you know what I mean, uh, Lord Jamar, like every old school nigga in the history of rap is highly disappointed, upset, and angry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, J. Cole literally committed MC suicide with that apology, son. I mean, the only people standing behind this nigga is a very small majority led by Charlemagne, Peter Rosenberg, and Cypher Sound. These motherfuckers up here talking about uh, it's okay to change your mind and be in touch with your feelings and your mental health and that ain't really what he do. He was peer pressure. Fuck out of here. That nigga jumped out got a bad response and it's been all bad for that nigga ever since you know what i'm saying so that was step two in uh in this battle next we had motherfucking aubrey come with the uh push-ups aka dropping gimme 50. so this is what brought the boy officer rose into the picture you know what i mean so apparently on that song drake said some shit about you never had a number one hit or won any awards, got any plaques, none of that shit until I jumped on a song with your fat, black, ugly ass, you know what I'm saying? That's basically what he said. I'm just translating it, you know? So at this point, I don't really know who Officer Ricky is clapping back at. Is he clapping back at Aubrey or is he clapping back at Quentin Miller? You know what I'm saying? It's hard to say at this point. But, you know, from what I'm hearing, you know, on, on that... um. On that push-ups joint, Aubrey supposedly had dissed about 15 niggas, you know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, then I'm going to say Officer Ricky is definitely clapping back at Aubrey and not Quentin, you know what I mean? Because this has to be personal and something to do with the niggas' character, you know what I'm saying? If you got a problem with 15 to 20 motherfuckers, there's a common denominator, Aubrey, and that's your ass, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's see what this Champagne Moments is all about. Salute and shout out to the girl Rochelle Baller for this request. So, all right, yo, let's get to it. Champagne moments. Rick Ross, let's go. Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Mm. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Oh, hold on. Get the Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Uh. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Uh. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Oh, they be taking a loss. Are you in your bed? Hold on, do we have an early shout out to Quentin Miller right there? Shout out to the boy Q for writing all Aubrey shit. Let's go. 
Ghost writers, they get the flaw. There it is. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers, they get the floss, what you could have had. Record label taking a loss, are you in your bag? You a worker on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind, tell by my watch, this a different time. Mm. Living fine, I'm getting high, it's your shit decline. Who believes he moving keys in his Louis V's? Mm. Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Uh. Feel the pain or just describe where you... All right, man. All right, all right, all right. Here we go again. That's the third time I've heard about this damn chain, yo. What's the incident with the chain, man? At this point, it seems clear to me that somebody from OVO got their chain. Yeah, you know what I mean? I ain't heard shit about Drake ever being robbed, so it wasn't one of him. It wasn't him. It had to be one of his one of his mans in them, you know what I mean? I don't know. Does Drake have artists? I have no idea. But anyway... This is the third time I heard about this damn chain, and I don't know the backstory. Put a nigga on, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me back that up. Run up on you and snatch your chain, watch you bitches bleed. Feel the pain or just describe where you really ride. Either you niggas getting money or ready to die. B.I.G. or give a fuck if you T.I. Lee. You got it and you keep it tucked if you be by me. Do the job, better known as the Charles Schwab. Double loss, spread through the yard, and I swear to God. Pop a perk for the field, go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free, do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records when we speaking directly. If we keeping the game. When you see me, you check me. Hold on, man. Let me just say something. So I don't listen to Rick Ross. I don't listen to Aubrey. I don't listen to J. Cole. And I don't listen to Kendrick. You know what I mean? So I ain't used to looking at these motherfuckers either. But I've done like seven reactions in the last fucking week. And I'm just about sick of these motherfuckers. But anyway, yo. Looking at Rick Ross's face is very difficult right now, son. Like, first of all, the nigga whole facial hair game looks fake as a motherfucker, so that's throwing me off. And then this nigga got tattoos all over his goddamn face. Like, what is this shit? Is this footprints? I see the state of Florida in the middle of this nigga's forehead and his eyebrows. I mean, why is a correctional officer getting tattoos all over his goddamn face? You know what I mean? This man, this shit looks crazy. This nigga got tattoos on his lips. Like, what the fuck is going on with this ugly motherfucker? Why would you make yourself even more? I guess he said, fuck it. I'm already ugly. Just throw some more shit on my face. Maybe that'll be a, a distraction and I'll be more like an art piece. <laughs> I'm just saying, my my bad, my bad. I'm fucking with the with the disc, but this nigga's face is throwing me the fuck off. Goddamn. Gangster, when you see me, you check me. White boy, I see you. I see you. Yeah. Check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me cause the clip is fully Niggas mm. pussy don't wanna push me, I'm like really Woody Like his moves, but he never had a fight in school mm. Always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves oh. Clothes copying your pace Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves oh. Clothes copying your pace Oh, okay, okay, I think we have ourselves a double entendre right here Say that one more again, one more time He said, always ran, another nigga had to write your jewels So... What I'm gathering from that, you know, Aubrey's a light-skinned, um, biracial Canadian nigga, a.k.a. soft, right? So, obviously, this nigga couldn't fight when he was young. So, in school, he would have had to run and get somebody else to write his grooves, a.k.a. fight for him. And, if you look at it the way I'm looking at it, with this nigga having Quint Miller as the greatest ghostwriter in the history of ghostwriting, you know what I'm saying? Actually, Jay-Z's the best ghostwriter in the history of ghostwriting, but I digress. But, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's saying that this nigga had to go get Quentin, you know what I'm saying, to write his grooves. That's a double entendre. Shout out to Officer Ricky for the double. All right, all right, I'll take that. Yeah, check. Getting bullied, don't walk up on me cause the clip is fully Niggas pussy don't wanna push me, I'm like really Woody Like his moves, but he never had a fight in school Always ran, another nigga had to write your grooves Flow was copying your pace, Wheezy gave you the juice Another white boy at the park wanna hang with the crew <laughs> Flow's copy and pace, Wheezy gave you your juice Oh my god, hold on son, hold on 
Oh, cool. But he never had a fight in school. Always ran. Another nigga had to write your grooves. Flow was copying your pace. Weezy gave you the juice. Ah. I got the right. We had to park. Want to hang with the crew. Oh. Pull it surprise when I'm switching up like dyed denim. Get incentives for all the killings while we ride rentals. Look me right in my face. He beginning to shake. Told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Ah. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say. 50 mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This nigga got more money than Drake? Hold on, hold on. Officer Ricky has more money than Drake, B. Like, I'm under the impression that Drake is damn near a billionaire. That's just what it seems like. You know what I mean? This nigga's been the biggest thing in black music for the, and pop music, you know what I'm saying, for the last 10 years at least. So I'm figuring this nigga damn near pushing up on a billy. But Officer Ricky out here talking like he got more paper than Drake. A.K.A. Arbor, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I believe that, yo. But then again, Officer Ricky is a damn good businessman. I will give that fat motherfucker that credit right there. He can wrap his ass off, and he's a good-ass businessman. But more money than Aubrey? I don't know about that, son. I don't know about that. In the shape, told you niggas stay scheming. I predicted my fate. Got more money than you. Fuck you want me to say? 50 mils for the crib. Where you want me to stay? I can shoot up the block. I got bitches to paint. Let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't. Oh. Let you get on my songs. It was uh. good for your face. Now uh. this nigga is home and no room for debate. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got two things. We got two, we got two overhand rights right there, son. First, that nigga said, I let you DM my hoes. Is that what he said? Got bitches to paint. Let you DM my hoes, but got bitches you can't. Let ah. you get on my song. <laughs> let you DM my hoes, but got bitches you can't. You know what I mean? So, at this point, it's pretty obvious that Aubrey is the biggest dirty macking nigga in the history of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? This nigga sliding into every bitch DMs trying to fuck everybody, bitch. Whether you a regular working nigga or you a fucking industry nigga or you a motherfucking actor, it don't matter. This nigga Aubrey is trying to dirty back your bitch, you know what I'm saying? But what 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 Ricky, what Officer Ricky is saying over here is that, yeah, nigga, I got bitches whose DMs you can slide in, but you know, them just my jump offs, you know what I'm saying? Them just bitches I call at four in the morning when I'm leaving the club, wing stop clo closed and I'm hungry and wanna smash, I go over this bitch crib, you know what I'm saying? Those the ones he don't mind if you DM. But he's saying he got bitches you can't. And them his, you know what I'm saying, his, uh, his, his what do you call them hoes? <laughs> what do you call them in pimping? His bottom bitches, you know what I'm saying? Them bitches who, who down the ride with him, you know what I'm saying? Them off limit joints. So, uh, like, I, I hear what you're saying, Officer Ricky. I hear what you're saying. Is it true if Drake really hit them up, would they say no? I don't know. I don't know, but I hear what you're saying. And then he rolled into the whole motherfucking, uh, what was the second punch that he threw? Hold on, let me get that. <laughs> Bitches to paint, let you DM my old, but got bitches you can't let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now, bitch, nigga is home and no room for debate. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think we got another double right here, son. I think we got another double. This nigga said, let you get on my songs. It was good for your face, right? So, it sounds to me like Officer Ricky took a look in the mirror. And said, yeah, I'm a big, fat, ugly, black motherfucker. And for me to get to the next level, it wouldn't be a bad idea to team up with the new light skin sensation coming out of Canada. You know what I mean? That nigga up there uh, singing and dancing. And, and you know what I'm saying? He the new lover boy in town. He the new heartthrob. So, yeah, let me hitch my ugly black ass wagon to this nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's a great marketing strategy by Officer Ricky, if I say so myself. Like I said, that nigga's a good businessman. That makes fucking sense to me, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I really feel like he was saying, or he was saying, yo, you know, nigga, it was a good look for you, uh, for your face to be associated with one of my projects, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I like that first one. I, I like that more marketing strategic uh, version of it for Officer Ricky, you know what I mean? But anyway, two nice ass bars right there, yo. Back them up and let's go. Pitches the 
P. Let you DM my hoes, but got bitches you can't. Let you get on my songs. It was good for your face. Now, bitch, nigga is home. Ain't no room for debate. Mm. Pop a perk for the field. Go and count me a meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Uh. Niggas leaking their records. Swamp your meal. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leaking their records. When we speaking directly. Mm. If we keeping it gangster, when you see me, you check me. <laughs> oh man <laughs> yo receipts is a motherfucker <laughs> if y'all couldn't hear that yo that sounded like it was um drake live in concert like in between songs or something like that and he was uh talking about how rick ross was like basically his idol you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yo, them receipts is deadly when you got them, you know what I mean? You ain't never wanna be a nigga anyway, nigga. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. Damn! I don't follow you, nigga, cause you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. Damn! I sent the police, nigga, hating on my dog project. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm still trying to get up. Wait, Drake had plastic surgery? I didn't know that. Yo, what his nose used to look like? What his nose used to look like, son? Yo, is this thing on some Michael Jackson shit? <laughs> I mean, holy shit, Drake. What else you think? What else did he just say? Um, he hated on French Montana? This nigga got beef with French Montana, too? Yo, I told you this nigga's got beef with everybody, son. What's the common denominator? His ass. Uh, what else? What else, Rick? What else, Officer? This is Officer Ricky being Officer Ricky. You know what I'm saying? He's just doing things that officers would do. You know what I'm saying? Telling. You know what I'm saying? Spilling the beans. What else you got to say, Ricky? Nose, nigga. I don't follow you. That's why you had operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows, nigga. I don't follow you, nigga, because you sent the motherfucking cease and desist to French Montana, nigga. Damn. I sent the police, nigga, hating on my dog project. That wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you were happy to be around. Hey, yo, this is like the third or fourth time he called this nigga white boy. You know what I'm saying? I was just kind of like trying to ignore this shit before. You know what I'm saying? Because he a biracial nigga. He probably feels sensitive about that shit. But this shit is mad funny, son. <laughs> Just refers to this nigga as white boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't the same white boy that I seen, nigga, when we were making them early records, nigga. When you I know that get on the drink skin. Them sticks. Yeah. You old motherfucking stun of your life, nigga. Give Wheezy some more money, nigga. I Your thought he was done with them deals. Money, white boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's Rose, nigga. Let's go how you wanna do it, where you wanna do it, anytime you wanna do it. I'm ready. I'm ready, white boy. Huh? I know you got your doctors on with no underwear, white boy. <laughs> you had that surgery, that six pack going. That's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. What? Hold on. Got your doctors on with no underwear, white boy. Yeah, you had that surgery, that six pack going. That's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it. Hold on, nigga. son. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does Aubrey have <laughs> fake abs show? Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, I was just talking to my girl about this last week. I was telling her how all these like hip hop niggas is like starting to get like fake muscles and shit like that. Fake fake abs, fake calf muscles, fake tries, fake buys, fake pecs. Like what the fuck is going on? Yo, is this the male version of a BBL? I thought a BBL was just for bitches asses. You know what I mean? I ain't know if it was, it was for all niggas' body parts. This nigga Drake walking around like the fucking bionic man up in this motherfucker. That's what he means when he says the six. Motherfucking six million dollar man. You know what I mean? This nigga's bionic. This nigga got a fake nose, fake abs, fake bars. Shout out to Quentin Miller, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. I didn't know all... Is this shit true? <laughs> He said that's why he don't take his shirt off no more or some shit. God damn. What else have I been missing? <laughs> I know you got your doctors on with no underwear, white boy. 
Yeah, why? Yeah, that surgery, that six pack gone, that's why you wearing that funny shit at your show. You can't hide it, nigga. <laughs> White boy. Why he got on dockers with no underwear? I'm confused by that. <laughs> oh, man. All right, man. Yo, so many questions. <laughs> And man, this nigga, uh, Officer Ricky, talking about how excited Drake was when he first started hanging around niggas. He came to the studio. He saw real choppers. You know what I'm saying? Saw some real street niggas. Nigga, I can say the same goddamn thing about your bitch ass, nigga. You was a motherfucking correctional officer, you bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was excited the first time you hung out with some real street niggas who was extorting your ass, I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? You was excited the first time you had some real street niggas with some real choppers in the studio. You bitch ass nigga. Motherfucking correctional officer ass, officer Ricky ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? This is a classic example of don't throw stones when you live in a glass house. Alright man, yo. This shit is crazy, yo. Who the fuck else is who I gotta I still gotta do the motherfucking future of Metro song with ASAP Rocky dissing Drake. Then there's another I gotta find out what the fuck Metro Boomin hate Drake for. And then there's another nigga, R and B type nigga, who got a diss song on that uh on that album who hate Drake too. Which nigga was that? Uh one of them depressed motherfuckers. The weekend, the weekend. Hey Drake too. I gotta do, man. I gotta do like two or three more fucking reactions involving this motherfucker, yo. God damn. This all Kendrick fault, son. This all Kendrick fault. All right, man. Yo, shout out to Rochelle Baller for this request. On to the next one. I'm out.